I, you for the masculine and you for the feminine. Today we are going to learn how to say he. He in Arabic we say huwa. I repeat huwa. And huwa means both of he and he is. I mean the conjugation of the verb to be of a simple present. The word for she is hiya. I repeat hiya. I repeat again hiya. And hiya means both of she and she is. I mean the conjugation of the verb to be at the simple present. And I remind you that the verb to be at the simple present doesn't exist in Arabic. Yeah, I know that is Arabic. Today we are going also to learn how to make or to build the feminine. You know, in Arabic there are two genders, masculine and feminine, and in English too. Yes, there are in English, with, for example, actor, actress. There are two genders. And in Arabic, to build this feminine gender, we add the ta al marbuta. I repeat, ta marbuta. Don't uh, learn it or keep it in your mind. That it's not so important. And there are two kinds of ta marbuta. You see, on the left and on the right. When do we use the first and where do we use the second? The first one, we use it after the letters Alif, Hamza, Del, Vel, Ra, Zay. If you see these letters at the end of the word and you want to build the feminine, so put this uh, Te, uh, this kind of te marbuta. Let's have an example. We have tilmid. It means pupil of the masculine. I repeat tilmid. I repeat again tilmid. So how do we build the feminine? This word ends in vel. So we'll put the first te marbuta, and it will be tilmida. I repeat tilmida. Now, for the second kind of ta marbuta, this is used with all the other letters. So, if you don't see the, letter, uh, the previous letters at the end of the word, so use this kind of ta marbuta. Let's have an example. We have the word muallim. I repeat, muallim. I repeat again, Mu'allim. Yeah, I know the Ain is so hard to pronounce. But no matter if you say Mu'allim with the A, not with the A, no matter. We will understand you. If you say Mu'allim, I can understand that you mean teacher in the masculine. Mu'allim, for you, the English speakers, you can say Mu'allim. So we have a letter Meme at the end of the word and it's not like the previous letters so we will use the second kind of the ta marbuta and it will be as you can see on your screen and it is pronounced muallima i repeat muallima i repeat again muallima and notice that these ta marbuta are not pronounced they are here just to make the feminine now we will meet our first verb today and it is the verb to learn and we will conjugate it also at the sample present yes you grow so to learn as you can find it on the dictionary it is ri written as you can see it on your screen and it is pronounced yadros and you see the underlined uh, letters are the root and on this root we will build our conjugation and what you see on yellow it's the mark of the conjugation of the third person of the singular because in Arabic there is not an infinitive we use the verb of the third person of the uh, singular to make the infinitive so for Anna which means I we will conjugate by adding the constant marks the constant marks are in yellow so if you want to take any verb in arabic put these constant marks and you will conjugate your verb at the uh, 
the simple present for uh, the personal pronoun I and you add the root and it will be Anna Adros. I repeat Anna Adros for enter the same thing you add the constant marks and you will conjugate it and here it will be Tadros Anta Tadros which means you learn for the masculine for the feminine we will add suffix and prefix and the constant marks as you can see and it will be anti tadrosin and you will always keep the root as I explained you and it will be anti tadrosin for the personal uh, pronoun huwa which is he you don't have to conjugate it because as you can find it on the dictionary it is conjugate a this person and finally for the personal pronoun hiya which means she we also add the prefix ta and the constant marks or the vocalization uh, to the root and so you have conjugate the verb and it will be hiya tadros i repeat hiya tadros i repeat again hiya tadros which means she learns and congratulations in arabic there is one kind of present there isn't simple present or uh, present continuous or I don't know of kinds of present you have one present congratulations it's so easy Arabic now let's get started with our dialogue section dialogue one Yaqub and that you meet a muallim and a Muhammad and a till me salam Mariam and it till me the or muallima أنا تلميذة أنت أيضا تلميذ؟ نعم أنا أيضا تلميذ أنا أدرس العربية أنت تدرسين العربية أيضا؟ نعم أنا أدرس العربية أيضا أنا من لندن أنت من لندن أيضا؟ لا أنا من نيويورك Now let's explain our dialogue section First she told him يعقوب أنت تلميذ أو معلم يعقوب it's a name it's Jacob so she asked him Jacob you are pupil or teacher and notice that in Arabic there is no an indefinite article so just put the word for example in English we say are you a pupil in, in Arabic uh, we don't have the indefinite article so it's directly anta tilmid you are pupil or a muallim teacher and notice that the question had been made by the intonation. The answer was Anna Muhammad. He answered her, uh, Anna Muhammad, I'm not Jacob. Anna Muhammad, Anna Tilmid, I'm pupil. And he said to her, Salam, Maryam. Hello, Mary. Anti Tilmida or Muallima. You are pupil or a teacher? She told him, Anna Tilmida, I'm pupil. And she asked him, Anta Aydan Tilmith, are you a pupil too? He answered, Naam, Anna Aydan Tilmith, I'm pupil too. And he said to her, Anna Adrus Al Arabiya, I learn Arabic. Al Arabiya is Arabic. I repeat, Al Arabiya is the Arabic language. And he asked her, Anti Tadrusin Al Arabiya Aydan? you study Arabic also and the question had been made also here by the intonation and she asked him Naam, yes, Anna Adrus Al Arabiya Aydan I learn Arabic too and she told him Anna Min London which means I'm from London London Bil Arabiya London in English and she asked him Anta min London Aidan, you are from London too.